All right, Shalom. First and foremost, all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Baha Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Hashem, Rakak Wadash. The Bible the Apostle, is a great millstone for teaching us the Word of the truth according to the Bible rule well. In peace and blessing, so like to the nation of Israel, take the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shema Shai, and we're the Lord's willing edifying lesson on seeking the Lord. You know, uh, you know, we're going to jump right into it with the, uh, the definition of the word seek. It says search for or try to obtain, attempt to find. So our people, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, should be attempting to find the things that please Yahweh Shema Shai. You see, and how are those things uh, made known via the servants of prophets? This is a uh, Baruch 4 and 4. Oh, Israel, which are the so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, happy are we. We see, we are very blessed for the things that are pleasing to Yahweh Shema Shai, our power. See, Yahweh Shema Shai is our power. You know, the things that please him are made known unto us. Yes, yeah, so via the servants, the prophets, via the men that Yahweh Shema Shai is speaking through. Let's prove that real quick. This is uh, Matthews. Uh, 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 um, I'm going to get the one in Luke, actually. This is Luke. I haven't brought this one out in a while. This is St. Luke, chapter 10, verse 16. He that heareth you, heareth me. And he that despiseth you, despiseth me. And he that despiseth me, despiseth him that sent me. So the men that Yahweh and this is written in red. This is a uh, red leather. This is a uh, Yahweh Shai speaking. Actually, uh, don't know how to turn on the red leather, but um, it's all fine. So the men that Yahweh Shema Shai, you know, is speaking through is, is teaching you the ways on how to please uh, the Lord. You see, teaching you what is profitable, you know, for you to do in these last days. It's uh, Jeremiah 3 and 14. Turn, O backsliding Israel, saith the Lord, for I am married unto you. You see, so you're we're married unto Yahweh by Shema Shai. There's that union, you know, in, in any marriage, you know, uh, you're, you're the wife, who uh, the woman, who's the who's servant, that's the etymology of the word woman, is supposed to be serve, serving her husband, which is our husband is the Heavenly Father. You see? And how are we supposed to serve the Lord? We're supposed to be seeking out, trying to uh, obtain and, and find out what pleases Yahweh by Shema Shai and uh, implement those things to our day to day lives. You know, in line, uh, the, you know, what pleases Yahweh by Shema Shai, those, those things are supposed to be constantly uh, thought upon, you know, so we can fulfill those things you know day to day you know such as not eating shrimp pork crab lobster which all these foods are abominable foods in the eyes of Yahweh by Shema Shai you know such as you know serving other gods you know which that's the main one Jeremiah 3 and 14 turn so many repent O backsliding children saith the Lord for I am married unto you and I will take you one of a city and two of a family and bring you to Zion. A small remnant is going to return. You see, and that's who we do these lessons for. And I will give you pastors according to my heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. So the pastors are the apostles of the great millstone that are feeding you uh, with knowledge and understanding on how to please the Lord, how to get closer to Yah by Shema Shai. Now it's up to you to put in the put in the time, the due diligence, right? This is a uh, Proverbs eight and five. Oh, ye simple, understand wisdom. Um, suck yeah. Uh, literally drew a blank. This is a uh, Proverbs. Uh, kind of a long date. Proverbs eight and seventeen. This is really what I want. It says, "I love them." That love me, this is wisdom speaking, you know. Speak which the embodiment of wisdom is our Lord Yahweh Shai. 
And how do you love the Lord? How do you love, you know, Yahweh by Shema Shai, your husband? By keeping his commandments. You see? And by keeping his commandments, you are doing the things that please him. You see? I love them that love me. And those that seek me early shall find me. And early is now before the uh, destruction comes. Because in the times, the evils that are coming, our people are going to want to seek the Lord. They're going to want to seek Yah by Shema Shah. They're going to want to, you know, be willing and obedient unto Him. But for a lot of our people, it's going to be too late. This is um, Zechariah chapter 7. And 11. But they refused to hearken. The so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, they refused to hearken. You know, unto the ways, you know, that the men of Yahweh by Shema Shah were pushing out week in and week out on the highways and byways, the way of life, right? You know, which is following the Lamb, Yahweh Shai, you know, which which is this word, this knowledge. The the word became flesh, which is Yahweh Shai the Lamb, right? And pulled away the shoulder and stopped their ears that they should not that they should not hear. You see, so the Lord stretched out his hand all the day long to rebellious people, saying, This is the way, you know, walk ye in it. Um, yea, they made their heart as an adamant stone, lest they should hear the law and the words which the Lord of hosts has sent in the, in his spirit by the former prophets. Therefore came a great wrath from the Lord of hosts. See, we're married unto Yahweh by Shema Shai. We of the nation of Israel, you know, starting with the elect. Of course, in these times, we understand that we broke that covenant. But the Lord has likened the comely, the, uh, uh, the daughters of uh, the nation of Israel to a comely and delicate woman. You see, I the Lord, Isaiah 54, right? I believe verse 6, I the Lord am thy husband. You see, so... Uh, when the wife isn't doing that which is pleasing unto her husband, what? You give her that bill of divorce. You know, you don't deal with her, you know? And that's what uh, is, is about to happen to two-thirds of the, of the nation of Israel. They're about to be cut off. You know, but we as, you know, the hopeful elect, which are being bid to the marriage, are trying to be uh, those, those, that bride that made herself ready, the elect. You know, striving for that number, you know. Seeking out the things that please Yahweh by Shema Shai while we have this grace period. You see? It says, therefore it has come to pass that as he cried and they would not hear, so they cried and I would not hear, saith the Lord of hosts. You see? This is what's going to come to pass because while you had opportunity, you know, to do good, you know, to, 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 to be obedient to Yah by Shema Shai, you rejected it. Isaiah 55 and 6, seek ye the Lord while he may be found. You know, try to obtain the mercies of Yah by Shema Shai while, you know, while he may be found. While the men of Yah by Shema Shai are still out there on the highways and byways preaching this word because they're coming after this truth. You know, when, when, when the men of Yahweh by Shema Shai are taken, you know, are hid in the secret place of Yahweh by Shema Shai under the shadow of the Almighty, right? You know, starting with this truth, you know, then we're going to, it's going to lead to us physically being hid. That's when Esau Edom is going to roll on you. That's when, that's when all hell is going to break loose. You know, that's going to be the beginning stages of it. Well, we are at the beginning stage, but that's going to be when things are getting hot. It says, Let the wicked forsake his way. The wicked of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, the way that you live down here upon the earth, you know, which there is a way which seems right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. The, the, the right way, the perfect way, is you seeking your rock. Yah by Shema Shai, our power. You know, and the rock is solid. You see, this solid foundation that's being laid so we can walk through the valley of the shadow of death, you know, with all confidence. You know, having our trust 
in the Lord, having our boast in the names of Yahweh by Shemuel Shai. It says, let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. The unrighteous man, the unrighteous men of Yahweh, by, uh, uh, the, uh, the, you know, the children of Israel, you know, the chosen people of Yahweh by Shemuel Shai. You know, you have to forsake those things, those wicked thoughts. It says, and let him return unto the Lord. And he will have mercy upon him into our power, for he will abundantly pardon. So right now we have this grace period. And it's not to accumulate more sins. It's not to rebel more. It's to, you know, to seek, to find out, to search out the things that are pleasing to Yah by Shema Shai. And try to implement those things uh, to our day-to-day -day life with that. Lord's willing, you're edified. I'm going to say, Shalom.